Hey y'all, in this video I want to do a quick overview of Keek Locopy, what it is and how to get started with it. Keek Locopy is a tool with the goal of converting a React app to a Keek Loc beam. I won't be going in depth on what Keek Loc is in this video, but it's essentially an open source identity and access management solution which supports a variety of different authentication and authorization mechanisms out of the box. To understand Keek Locopy's role in developing custom themes, I think it's important to first know how Keek Loc themes work under the hood. Keycloak's documentation has some more detailed information on how to set up custom themes, but there are a couple important aspects in my opinion with relation to Keycloakify. To override a given theme, you have to provide Keycloak with a number of configuration files, but the ones that I'll be going into are the free marker templates. If we look inside the Keycloak source code, we can find that there are collections of themes for various built-in pages that they provide. For example, if we take a look at the login theme, we can see all the files that are part of the default login theme. Taking a look at one of these free marker templates, we can see that it's got a bit of a strange syntax compared to what you might be used to, but at the end of the day, it is templating out some HTML for a page. To implement a Keycloak theme, you need to create your own free marker template files for each of the pages that you want to override. If you've ever checked out the build output of a typical React app, you might be wondering how to create a free marker template from your React components. Additionally, if you take a look at the URLs of static assets for Keycloak themes, you can see that it contains a hashed URL. This hash is unknown until a Keycloak's build time, which further complicates your React app's build process. This is where Keycloakify comes in. As part of its build process, Keycloakify has a few clever strategies in place to convert your static asset references to the proper Keycloak URL at runtime. After patching static asset paths, Keycloakify will bundle your app into a set of free marker templates for your Keycloak theme. Finally, Keycloakify bundles everything up into a jar file that Keycloak can consume. These aren't the only things that Keycloakify helps out with but I think they are the most important for understanding why a tool like Keycloakify is necessary in the first place. For a more complete list of features, check out the Keycloakify's documentation site. Happy coding!